also. Now, I have this right here, um, my user form. It's still in its beginning stages, right? Um, and I don't have anything else. So what I did was I would, I changed the whole format because, you know, I wanted the book information, you know, and the genre as well as subgenres and so on and so forth. So what I did with that was I went into my developer um, and um, instead of having just the main user form and putting all that stuff on there, I put in this multi-tab user form. So instead of just... Uh, And just ha instead of blank user form like that right here on top, I chose the multi p user. And then the next thing I did, um, I put all you know, this is the book information, you know, the first name, name, the title, right? Go on, right? You can't hear, no, you can't. This is so. Right there is what all the basics. Now, changing it to all of this. Now, I wondered how I could make it if it's a multi-genre, you know. And I'm like, well, if, if I just have one radio button per genre of the book itself. And a lot of times, uh, a book have more than one genre. It'll be multi genre. So I did no boxes to that effect. So that does go in here. Perfect. <laughs>
Hi, everybody. Now, uh, what I'm doing here, right here with my genre, um, naturally, I do not read narratives um, or general fiction. I don't tend to read that. So, so uh, with, with saying that, uh, every single book that I will be reading or listening to, I'll have to go through every one of these. And so naturally, if, if I, I'm not reading it, it's, um, I can just glance over it basically and it's already going to be checked. So that's what I'm doing and how to do it is consider, okay. Um, true crime. Um, I naturally do not read true crime, so I click on the the radio button. No, uh, I go down to true, which is over here, and the value is false. So change it to true. Okay, easy. And then you automatically have that. So uh, we go back into the thing here. Go into my ad. Wow. And then perfect. And it's already marked. See? And my cancel button should work. Presto. It worked. And how I did that was go go back into Visual Basic, um, double click the cancel button, and right here unload a, unload data underscore lib, lib is short for library. So that's how how you take care of that macro. And the good part about doing VBA and do, learning about all this stuff is that these are technically all macros. <laughs> they really are. So, um, yeah, I thought you'd like that. All right, now I'm going to double check to make sure I have the other ones taken care of, too. Um... Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, that's what I... Okay. But these are all done, right? Okay. So then these need to be tech option... Option... Oops. Option... FIC. There. Basically, that's what you're doing for all, all of them. 